How did this completely made up island manage to show up on Google's satellite imagery? This is Sandy Island, and to understand how its existence managed to fool even satellite cameras, we need to go back to when it was first discovered. The year is good old 1776. The US had just declared independence, and perhaps more importantly, British explorer James Cook had just spotted what looked to be a brand new landmass somewhere around New Caledonia. Now, what Cook really saw in the water is nowadays believed to have just been rocks from an underwater volcano explosion, but not knowing any better, he would end up publishing his findings of this sandy island. These false descriptions would then get passed down in the form of different maps that sailors would use to navigate, and more than two centuries later, Sandy Island would find itself being adapted onto digital shoreline maps, the very same maps used by Google Earth software. You see, when Google takes satellite imagery of the globe, they take way higher quality photos of land than ocean, and since Google software thought that there was land right here, it just did what it normally does and took higher quality images of the area. So these darker images of the ocean aren't Google lying about what's real, it's simply their software using the data it was given. 